Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. I have already recorded the two tutorials, guys, but they got corrupted, so I am recording them again. So you will be finding some drawings on the papers, so don't worry. So associate memory. Associate memory is nothing but basically how we'll be searching for data, guys. If you want to search something, we'll be going according to address, right? So, but in associative mapping, we'll be going according to the value or the data it is stored. Accessing the content of the data rather than address, right? So, also known as content address memory. That is nothing but CMA, fine? So, here we'll be having a argument register which will be given in the question or which is fixed. So, and the key register in which we will be storing our main key. The value that we want to search is stored in the key register and all these things are entered or transferred into associative memory, a realist logic and it has m words with n bits per each word guys. It has input, read and write. So the final result will be stored in the match register whether they are matching or not. So once we are going through the example you will be having a clear idea guys. Don't worry. Okay. So let us take an example guys. Still here the question is. So basically let argument register A is equals to 110010 guys. So that is the argument register and the given key is 011100. So they gave four numbers. There are, let us assume that there are only four numbers. Now we are finding whether there is a match with K or not. Fine. So initially the first step will be. So okay let us go through it guys. So the first step will be okay just by observing you can say that this A is exactly matching with this number right so that is what we need to find guys that's our main goal to find this is the match so now we will be doing an operation between a and x so initially write the key value above 011100 and write the argument value below 110010 fine so wherever we are having 0 in the key place x as a result Fine. And now just copy this value right below it guys. 100. Zero, zero. So this is our new value which we will be checking whether it is matching or not. So after comparing this we will be comparing this x 100x. In the places of x there may be 0 or 1. That we will be neglecting guys. So we will be checking only these 3 bits. So we need to have after first bit we need to have 100. Zero, zero. Are we having here after one bit we are having 0 1 1 we need 1 0 0 so it is not a match so it becomes 0 similarly here we are having 1 at the starting it's okay after that we are having 1 0 0 it is matching guys so it will be 1 here 1 triple 1 0 0 here it is not 100 or 1 double 0 so it is 0 here the three digits are zeros so that is also not match so we found the content here guys so basically the major plus point of this is that even after finding a particular value that is exactly matching, even it search for further values guys. Because there might be repeated values. You cannot justify that the first value is a fixed value. There might be any repeated value again. So that is the major advantage in this. So in the next tutorial we will be seeing how the write and read operations will be done on associate memory. Thank you. Thanks for watching.